Girls. Welcome back to my page. I hope everybody's having a great day today. Happy Friday. If you guys are new here, please subscribe and make sure you smash that notification bell. And if you're a returning watcher, welcome back. So today I'm kind of excited. This company, Burry Burry Store, I hope I'm saying that right. If not, I really apologize, but I'm horrible at names pronunciations and everything else um they reached out to me on instagram and asked me if they could send me some products to try and i said sure so these are the products that i got and we are going to try them right now so let's see they are solid gel polishes and let me tell you, these look like they, from the website and from the pictures, they look like they were really, really cool. So let's take a look at them right now and then we'll go ahead and we'll try them out. All right, I hate not really, okay, there we go. So this is number 25, palette number 25. And it says Berry Berry Cream Cloth Glue. You get one, you get 0.15 grams and it's got three colors in one. So let's go ahead and see how they look. Ooh, pretty. These would make for some awesome Harley Quinn nails. Black, red, and white. Awesome. And then this one is number 27. Let's see what this one looks like. This is a new company I haven't heard of before, so it was really pleasant to get the chance to try their products. Yep, number 27, here we go. And this is also 0.15 grams, three solid colors, and they come nicely packaged, and you can see that It comes nicely sealed. Oh, these are pretty. These are gonna make for some like nice ocean nails or pretty nails. So let's go ahead and let's swatch these out and see how they look. Let me grab some swatch sticks and we'll go ahead and we'll get started. So we'll start with this pretty blue color. If I can find my brush. There's my brush. Let me go ahead and just get some base coat on here just to be on the safe side. There we go. So let's go ahead and let's start swatching these colors so we can see how pretty they are. We're going to start with this blue and this green here. pigmented this is and it's just one coat you guys very 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 nice so we'll go ahead and we'll cure that for 30 seconds or we'll do it for 60 seconds just to be on the safe side and we'll move on to the next color This is a very pretty color too, you guys. I really like these colors. They're vibrant, they're easy to work with, and they're very opaque, even for just one color. Or one coat, I'm sorry, one coat. They don't seem to be too, too streaky. They seem to be okay so far. Oops. 
right, let's try this dark blue. There we go. Ah, I dropped my swatch stick. Hold on. It's just how my day's going today. Dropping everything. One, two. And we'll move on to the next colors. In case you guys don't know, Harley Quinn is like my alter ego. I get so excited anything that I can do with Harley Quinn in it. So this red, black, and white, man, it really got me excited. I'm thinking of all kinds of cosplay nails and everything else. And this is a nice jelly red, it seems like. Very nice jelly red. I've never seen a pancake color or pancake gel polishes as I like to call them solid gels in black so I'm curious on how nice this is going to look and so far so good holy cow I'm really pleasantly surprised with these gel polishes like I said and this is just one coat can you imagine if you did two coats on these how beautiful they would be very very nice Try the white. And as you can see, I'm really not using that much. We'll see when we get into our set how much we actually use today. This is the white one. So I can honestly say that I am pleasantly surprised with these, how nice and easy they are to work with. Here are these three colors for this number 27 set. And they are really, really nice. Here, let me come in a little closer so you guys can see. These colors are amazing. And this is only one coat, you guys. And look how opaque and how beautiful they really are with just one coat. That is gonna be really, really, really nice. So here's these three. And then this one is number 25. Now, let me show you up close the, this is how the packaging comes. Very, very cream cloth glue, 0.15 grams. So you get three colors in each. And then here is the three for number 25. And those are really pretty too, with just one coat. So let's go ahead and let's get into the set and see what we can create with them. Okay, so I'm going to do this set as a set of press-on nails. So I'm just going to start by go ahead and prepping the nails. I've already sized them out and I've already picked them up. Picked them out, sorry. So I'm just going to start by, if I can get my Melody Susie 2-in-1 drill to cooperate with me here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to take the shine off the nails, that way it gives the um, gel polish more to adhere to. Everything works better if there's no shine. And I'm just gonna use a sanding band for this. 
You don't have to use a drill. You can use your buffing block for this. I just think it's quicker. So I go ahead and I just real quick go over everything. And get it all filed out and taken care of. That way I can go ahead and just throw on the base coat and get started on the nail design. And you guys, you know what? I'm just gonna be honest. I am completely pleasantly surprised by this gel polish. I've tried a couple solid gel polishes and some of them, they come out streaky. Some of them, they, they don't get opaque no matter what you do to them. And this one is kind of cool. I, I kind of like this one. I think I will continue to use the gel polishes, the solid gel polishes from this company, Burry Burry. Once again, if I'm not pronouncing that right, I do apologize. I will go ahead and I will leave a link for their website. Um, I'm not sure if I have a discount code. But if and when I get a discount code, I'll go ahead and I will throw it in the description of this video and all future videos like I do with all my discount codes for you guys. So you guys have a lot of options. To go ahead and choose what products you wanna use. Cause I know I like to have a vast choice of what I wanna use. And you'll see me, I use all kinds of different products. I'm not picky. And this is going to be one of my go-tos for press-ons and anything that I do with gel polish. Because like I said, I was with the swatches, I was pleasantly surprised. So we will see how it goes with the set, but I don't think it'll be much of a problem. I think it'll be just good. And I've got this whole cute little idea in my head about how I want to do this set. So we'll see what happens. As we all know, not everything in my head turns out, so we will go ahead and we will take a look at it and see how things go. Um, like I said, they did reach out on to me on Instagram. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, please go ahead and follow me. I have it linked in the description box, all my social media accounts, my TikTok, my Instagram, my Snapchat. I am active all the time on all of my social media accounts. And right now I'm just taking off that little nubby at the top for the ones that I missed. And I feel like if you file it this way, instead of this way, you get more of a crisper line across the top. The free edge is crisper and it's straighter than if you go the other way. So, I mean, that's just my personal preference. It really depends on what you wanna do and how you wanna do it. But that's just my personal preference. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the shine off, I'll, or take the dust off everything. sure but I'll figure it out right and I think we're gonna use number 27 so we're gonna use the pretty blues and I am gonna start out with a base coat if I can find my base coat ah here it is what's left of my base coat I need to get another bottle of it and I'm just oh come on see I told you today was the day I'm just dropping everything and we're just gonna go ahead and just throw a Thin coat of base coat on here just to give the polish something to adhere to. And 
And then we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna cure this for 30 to 60 seconds. I usually go about 30 seconds. It depends on it really depends on what light you use too. I am using my Melody Susie two in one nail lamp and drill set, and it's a very very strong lamp, so it doesn't take as much to cure it as if you were using like a mini light or one of those other little lights that are just like LED. This is actually a UV light, so and I think they said it was like 10 watts I'm not exactly sure don't quote me on that but it's very very strong and things cure a lot faster with this one that's why I like it it's my favorite it's my go-to and as you can see from me using the drill the drill is very very strong too and look how quickly things got done so we're just gonna let this go for 30 seconds and we will get started with the colors, yay! And once again, I'm just gonna throw a little bit of base coat on my brush just to get started with. That way it just softens up the brush and makes the um, transition a lot smoother between the gel polish and the nails. So like I said, I'm just going by the seat of my pants here, just creating. So we'll see what happens, but I have no doubt it will turn out for the better. All right, I think I want to start off with on this, this dark blue. And these are a lot longer than the swatch sticks, so I have to use a little bit more. Than I used on the swatch sticks, but that's okay. So we'll go ahead and we'll cure that one for 60 seconds. Move on to the next one, which I think we will use this pretty green one on. And we'll definitely use the red, white, and black one, number 27, in the next video. And I'm just dipping my um, brush in a little bit of 
alcohol just to clean it up. Just to make sure there's no color residual or anything left on it. You guys, these colors are really easy to work with. I really like this. These are nice. Very, very nice. I feel like these are one of the ones that you'll get a lot of uses out of these palettes. Like I've used a couple solid gel palettes and I was lucky if I got one use out of them because they were so shallow. And there wasn't a lot of color in them. But this one I feel like you're gonna get a lot of use out of, which is really cool. And that's the whole point is to be able to get things so you can keep a lot of, get a lot of use out of it. And then you just close it back up. Clean my brush off for a while. I am just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw a top coat on so I can get along with my decorations. As soon as this nail dries. Look at how pretty those are, you guys. Ugh. All right, so I'm just going to throw some top coat on these. And we'll commence with the decorations and the nail design. And we're just gonna throw these in the lamp for 60 seconds. Let them dry. And decide what we wanna do with the pretty little colors. I know I keep repeating myself, but I am really pleasantly surprised with this, these gel polishes. They're, they're very, very pretty.
All right. Put those in there. Let them, all right. Now that everything's all cured, I think we'll go ahead and we'll use these pretty little dragon stickers today. I absolutely love these things. They're so cute. I'm going to come off the... There we go. I always like to put a base coat down too, or a top coat before I put my stickers on because of the fact that I like to, um, I like to be able to take them off if I don't like the way that they look instead of, you know, ruining the nails. By just putting everything over the polish. So I always work on top of a top coat. There we go. Well, that one ripped. That's okay. We'll just try another one. It happens sometimes. go. Pretty little dragons. And I am just going to throw another base coat over these and then we'll finish them up.
I feel like it's sticky from yesterday. Flash cure that for 15 seconds. That way the diamonds don't move and I'm gonna get started on this one.
All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give these a, few, a full cure for 60 seconds. All right, guys, so here we go. Here's the final look. I think they're absolutely adorable. These colors, man, I'm telling you, you guys need to try these colors out. They have a vast array of different palette, different colors, and they are so easy to work with, and they spread like butter. And this is one coat. This is not two coats. Can you imagine how much more opaque it would be if I would have put two coats on there? But for the look I was going for, I didn't think it was necessary, so I only did the one coat. And I will get you guys outdoor pictures as soon as I get some sunshine out here because it's going to rain today. But other than that, I love your faces. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and I will see you